What is going on, aliens? I'm Mike Rosa, and today we're gonna be getting after it with a full glute workout circuit. Let's get them booty gains. Ah, oh, yeah. Like old times. Alright aliens, let's get ready to chase that booty pump together. We're going to be going through four exercises and you're going to be performing 10 reps on each exercise and you're resting 45 seconds in between each exercise. Once you get through all four exercises, that is one full round. Now you can use one round as a finisher at the end of your leg day to really exhaust those glute muscles or you can do three to four rounds total, resting one to three minutes in between those rounds depending on your experience level for a full glute training day itself. Get fired up aliens. This is going to be intense and I want you to push with me. Push yourself with that weight. Maximize your form on every single rep. Make it all count. Earn those gains. Now real quick before getting into this workout, huge shout out to iFast Fitness. Thank you so much iFast for sending me over this awesome power rack. Aliens, if you're looking for a power rack to power your home gym, garage gym, your actual gym, whatever you need it for, they've got an awesome power rack. I'll look in the first thing comment in the description. It comes with barbells, benches, a ton of weights, a cable system attached in this power rack. It's literally got a ton of features that you can maximize to get all types of gains. So again, thank you so much iFast Fitness. I'll link iFast in the first pinned comment and the video description. Now let's not waste any more time and get into exercise one, which is gonna be the cable glute pull through. Now one more note, you see I have a barbell set up here. I have a bench right next to it. We'll be using both of these types of equipment for this circuit. So make sure you have them around you because we'll be switching to them on that second exercise. But for exercise number one, we are starting off with the cable glute pull through. We'll be using the cable attachment. I want you to use the rope attachment for this. This is my personal favorite for this exercise. And then you're gonna be stepping in between, coming all the way out. Really get that stretch of the cable before you begin the exercise. Get a stable position. Really secure yourself. Your knees are going to stay relatively stationary throughout this movement. You are not squatting on a pull through. You are pulling through. So you come through your legs and then you pull through with that weight. And we're going to be doing 10 reps together. Are you ready aliens? Let's get after it. Start with me. All the way back. Really get a deep stretch and then pull all the way through. Flex your glutes as hard as possible at the top. One, two, three. Come on, squeeze it. Four, five. Remember, you're not squatting. Pull through those legs, six. All the way back, deep stretch, seven. Come on, three more. Control it, squeeze it. Eight. Nine, one to go, come on, finish strong. 10, woo, 45 seconds of rest now. Get ready for exercise two. All right, aliens, let's get ready now for exercise two. We're doing the back elevated hip thrust. So bring a bench now into the equation so you can elevate yourself. We're bringing a barbell into the mix now, and I'm using a pad because the bar is gonna be resting on your hips. You don't wanna dig it into you too hard, especially if you're going heavy with weight. It just adds a little extra security. And then you wanna make sure your back is absolutely stabilized on the bench behind you so it's not flipping over, it's not rolling behind you. You wanna be absolutely secure for this exercise. Lift up a little bit to secure your back. And then once you're secure, your feet are planted into the ground, your heels are planted into the ground. We're ready to begin with 10 reps together. Let's start up now, aliens. 10 reps, all the way up. One, squeeze those glutes. Two, three, four, come on. Five, you can hold it for a second at the top to maximize that squeeze. Six. Seven, three more. Eight. Nine, last one, finish with me strong. 10, all the way down, 45 seconds of rest.
Make sure you're getting your water on these rest periods. Rehydrate because we're about to fire it up with exercise three. We're going to be doing landmine RDL glute squeezes. So you can have your barbell just on the ground like this. You don't have to change anything unless you want to change the weights. Then you're going to go onto the end side of the barbell and you're going to have a nice spread of your legs, a little wider than shoulder width. You're coming down, grabbing the bar up. I'll show you a practice rep real quick. You come all the way down, keeping your knees relatively stationary, touch the ground with the plate at the bottom, and then come all the way up. Squeeze the glutes as hard as you can at the top. Now, you ready to begin, aliens? Let's start it together. Come on, rep one, let's go. All the way down, slow and controlled. Tap the ground, then back up. Squeeze the glutes hard at the top. One. Two. Hinge back with those hips. Three. You're not squatting down, you're hinging down. Four. Come on. Five. Flex as hard as you can at the top. Six. Seven. Three more. Eight. Come on. You gotta want it. Nine, last one. Time. Woo! My butt is on fire already. Rest 45 seconds, then we got one more exercise to go in circuit one. Let's get it. Set yourself up now, aliens, for exercise four, which is gonna be the step up kickback, and you're gonna be doing 10 reps on each leg. Now I want you to grab a plate. You're gonna be holding the plate the whole time for this exercise and you have the bench set up so you're gonna be stepping on the bench. So make sure your ceiling or wherever you are, you're not gonna be banging your head through that. Make sure you're safe as always. Now let's begin together. We're gonna to go one leg at a time. Hold the plate just like this. However you feel comfortable, just make sure you're holding that plate to get some more resistance. We're gonna step up just like this and then kick the leg back and then we'll be doing 10 reps each side. Now let's start it together. Step up, one. Two, really kick back with that leg. Three, squeeze that glute. Four, five, come on. Six, keep pushing. Seven, eight, nine, last one this side. Ten, and then right into the other leg. Come on now. One, woo, gotta get your balance, aliens. Two, it's not easy. Three, four, five, six. Come on, squeeze that glute kicking back. Seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, woo, aliens. You just finished one full round of this glute circuit. Make sure to now smash that thumbs up button for me and click that notification bell. Rain and subscribe so you don't miss a new video uploads from me. And remember, that was one round. You can use that as a finisher at the end of your leg day to exhaust those glute muscles. Or you can do three to four rounds total, resting one to three minutes in between those rounds, depending on your experience level for a full volume glute training workout. Let's get it, let's get them gains, and thank you for your support, aliens. Now, before we end this video, I gotta do one more shout out to the sponsor of today, iFast Fitness. Thank you so much for hooking up this power rack. They're hooking you aliens up too. Make sure to check out the first big comment video description for a link to iFast Fitness. You can get this awesome power rack. It comes with the barbell, it comes with the bench, it comes with all the weights, it comes with the cable system. It really has so much functionality to it that you can do a ton of different exercises to maximize them gains. Now, go build those glutes, aliens, and I will see you in that next video. Peace.